YouTube. Today we are going to install an aftermarket cart hitch and a aftermarket trailer wiring harness on my 2021 Bronco. Um, so to go through it real quick, there is not a whole lot of options of aftermarket really anything for these Broncos currently, but there is a cart hitch um, which I have right here. Pretty simple hitch. Looks like part number 13493. There is that, and this will be linked down below. This should be pretty simple to install. There's not a lot to them. Four bolts. Um, that is all that is in this box. And then we have the... I'm not even gonna try and say that. We have the wiring harness. This is gonna be a lot more labor intensive. We have a fuse and some zip ties. This is the harness and it actually plugs in line with the left and right, the driver and passenger taillights. But then you also have to run this power wire all the way from the battery down to the back of the truck. So. I'm not gonna film this entire process. I'm gonna actually run this wire before I start the install, and then I will show you guys in the video how I connect it to the battery, and then how I connect it into this box. All of the hardware that I need to do this is included with the hitch and the harness. I did purchase these from two different websites. Again, I'll have all that information in the description. Um, so I'm gonna pre-run this show you guys where and how I run it and yeah we'll get the hitch installed and get the taillight harness installed all right so we're under the hood this is where you need the yellow fuse holder to connect to so you can use any of these posts um, obviously some of these don't come with a nut installed so you got to run this black wire all the way from here to the back now, this isn't my favorite thing about Ford trucks, but you can see the large wiring harness right here. This actually runs down along the frame rail right there. You can see the wire loom. Um, that runs all the way back. So that is what we're going to chase. Now, this is where I was saying I'm not going to film the entire process because that's going to be boring to watch me running this and zip tying it every couple inches. So, I'm going to run the black wire and I'll show you guys me connecting it to the battery and then we'll go to the back and attach the harnesses uh, into each taillight. So, stay tuned. Here we go. Okay, so here is the hitch. Here's the hardware. Four bolts, four washers, four nuts. They are a 19 millimeter or three quarter, depends on what you're using. Um, let's go ahead and get this thing tossed up there. So the one thing to note is you wanna put a washer on all your bolts and the bolts are gonna feed in from the back. Uh, I'm not sure if the mufflers are different between a 2.7 and a 2.3, um, that'd be the only thing that would I could see possibly being different. Um, this is a 2.7, and I'm able to pretty easily feed the bolts through. Um, I'm kind of having to go at an angle to get around the muffler, but still. Okay, well, that was pretty easy. All four bolts are in. Take you around. There you go. So now we have to try and feed the nuts up in there.
All right, so I've got the three nuts on. Um, basically, I don't know how much you can see. You can see the edge of the bolt coming through. So I'm having to just pull it back and then just kind of slide the nut over here on this side. Push it through and then slowly turn the bolt to catch some threads to tighten it up. Um, you do not have a whole lot of room to work with on this side. Okay, all four nuts are on, so I am going to get I'm going to get my ratchet, my battery powered ratchet, and tighten these up. Okay, so I wasn't able to get my battery powered ratchet in there. Maybe if I had a short socket. Um, but there, the bolts are all four tightened up. You can see the threads coming through over here. Um, yeah, that was incredibly simple. I mean, that did not take very much time at all. Um, yeah, let's, uh, we'll get the wiring figured out. You can see, so you, I chased the main harness back as far as I could. It goes till about the rear axle. And then I have, there's some wires back there. Um that I, I'm pretty sure running up to the tail light. I have it zip tied to those. And then I have the wire just coming over this body mount here. Um, right now it's popping out through there. I have this off because we're in the middle of building the lifestyle off-road rear bumper. So I was able to get this all the way to the back. That only took a few minutes. Um, we'll go look under here quick. So here's the main harness like I was saying. Now I have rock lights installed on this, so that's why you see two wires. But this one right here is the wire for the trailer wiring harness. And you can just see I have it zip tied every few inches, every foot or so, all the way back. So that is what you do with that wire, and we'll get the rest connected. Okay, I've got my black wire run right here, and then we've got our fuse. This is what needs connected to there. Um, it comes in a loop. You want to make sure there's no fuse installed before you wire it up. I'm just going to cut mine in half. Now we're going to strip each side. Well, maybe. Apparently I need new wire strippers because these are terrible. Okay, got these stripped. Gotta strip the end on the truck. I probably didn't leave myself enough slack here. Um, there was plenty of wire to get all the way to the back, so you don't need to run it nearly as short as I did. So, it came with this butt splice, put that in there, and it looks like this is one of the ones that has the heat shrink tubing. Crimp that on there, crimp on the fuse. Now we're going to crimp on the loop connector here. I didn't get it very tight. Okay, got that on there. I'm gonna go grab my heat gun. Okay, I got that all shrunk down so that's nice and tight. 
Now I just have to, again, make sure you don't have a fuse when you're doing this part. Gotta connect it to there, 10 millimeter. That was on there tight. And this is going to the positive side. So it must ground through the tail lights is my best guess. Okay, so that is connected now. I am not going to put the fuse in. Um, I am gonna throw a zip tie so that this stays better down here. Um, I'm not going to put the fuse in until I'm completely done, but we are done wiring everything up here. Let's go to the back. Ten millimeter screw. And that should be it. Yep. So this stuff is, this is just like a rubber, maybe slightly plastic cladding to, um, there we go, protect from getting all sorts of gunk in there. And it looks like this is the connection we are after. Okay, so it looks like the driver side is the yellow and the passenger side is the red and green so let's try and get this disconnected and this connected and it does not look like we get a whole lot of room to work in here okay so there's just this little clip and the top part does move up so there we go we will Come over to the harness, plug in one end. This is going to be the hard part as we're now jamming a whole bunch of wires into a pretty dang small area. I don't even know how I'm going to get this connector down there now. Okay, so as you can see, that took quite a bit of maneuvering. Um, the problem is, is there's lots of room up here, and we could even secure it to this, but they don't give you a whole lot of wire to do much with it. So, we are just going to have to try and push this stuff back as far as we can and feed the wire down. So we have this box that we have to hide, and it'll go down beneath, uh, beneath the bumper. So we'll get that pushed down out of the way. I'm going to try and get a zip tie around this too, just to make it so I don't, not driving down the road and getting a bunch of rattles. Um, Got that zip tied back to the original connector. Got my wires pushed back in there. I've got to say, for I know this truck does not have a huge towing capacity, but it really surprises me that Ford didn't make it a little easier to wire a hitch into this thing. At the same time, I removed the hit, the tow package from my build um, in order to expedite it, which I have every reason to believe that worked. 
because I've had my truck since August. Um, plus, I've got less than $200 into this. So, if my wiring has to look less than ideal, then I guess I'll take it and take my 400 bucks and put it towards something else. Okay. Put those pins all back in. Put my two screws. Okay, now we've got to get to the passenger side. Uh, hard part is, is I'm working in my garage and I can't open it all the way. So I might have to, I'll have to figure something out. All right, had to open the garage door and it's cold out so I'm gonna work fast. So again, on this side, we have four of these Phillips head plastic push pins. And the only way you can get these to work is if you very lightly twist. No inward pressure. It's not like a normal Phillips screw at all. You just very lightly, like this one's being difficult, so I'm putting my finger on the retainer part. You very lightly turn. And you can get them out. Last one. Maybe, can't really see down here. Um, if in the video you notice this cable, we are in the process of building our new rear bumper. It should be released within the next couple weeks. Um, we're gonna be playing with relocating the license plate to the spare, so that's what that cable's for. So stay tuned and you'll be able to see that really soon. Two 10 millimeter nuts, well, screws. Okay, rip this thing out of here. Okay, that one does not want to come out from the top. Okay, there we go. Got that out. Oh, there's coordinates on there. That's kind of cool. I'll have to look that up later. Okay, so again, we're disconnecting this and we are connecting that. So, you just push in on this connector. And a lot of times when you push in on these electrical connectors, you kind of hear it click. Probably couldn't hear it over me talking, so just know that when you go to do them, you should be able to hear a small click, and that's when you can start pulling it up because it has fully released. I think I'm going about this wrong. I'm gonna install this side, the bottom first, well the connector to the tail light first, and then the connector to the truck second. That clicked in. Okay, so again, I'm gonna do my best to get these wired there. Now, make sure you have this harness going underneath this. You don't want to redo it because you accidentally threw this over that and now you're going to slam it in the door. So, something to be aware of, something to think about as you are plugging everything in. Um, I don't 
know if I can even get a zip tie in there. Okay. I'm gonna push this wiring down. Oh. I actually did screw myself. Okay. So I gotta undo this quick and make it go over that actuator. Or under the actuator, sorry. Okay, fix that. Wire's going under here and then I'll feed it down through there. Um, gonna get this side buttoned up quick and then we will mount this. And this is actually where the power goes. And then we have to drill this into ground. So I'm gonna get this on and then we will finish this up. Okay, I kind of messed up. This needs to go behind the bumper. So, we got to figure out a way to get it there. Um, I think I can move it, move that enough to get it down there. Um, because we have to attach this white wire to the frame. And then the black wire to the black wire that we have running down here. So, if we pull this up. We still don't have enough room. Okay, it looks like I have just enough length of wire that I'm going to be able to sneak it around here and push it under. So, you may want to start with this actually behind the bumper and feed the connectors up um, through these little channels. Then you can avoid this issue altogether. So, I'm going to get this fed around and then I will show you underneath the truck where I mount it. Okay, so I've got to fix this wiring. I don't like how it turned out, but... I self-tapping screwed this onto the frame rail. I did another screw up there for the white. That is the ground. I connected my black wire there. I have it routed up so it shouldn't get too hot. Um, they just don't give you a very good spot to put this stuff. And they give you a ton of this flat four connector. I just coiled it up in there for now. Um, so... I'm going to clean this up, but that's the gist of it. So take your time on this part. Make it look nice. Make it look right. I am going to be taking the rear bumper off soon, so I'm going to really tuck it in there. Um, maybe there's even a way that we can get the wires in there. So look for an update on that. Hey everybody, thanks for watching that video on the trailer hitch and the wiring harness install. Um, I know at the end of the harness video, I said I wasn't happy with how it turned out. Um, and I'm not, that is currently how it is while I'm driving. Um, I just haven't had time to go back to it. Stay tuned though, there's gonna be a part two of what I'm gonna do to fix that harness issue. Basically, it just has a lot of extra wire and I did not account for that while I was running it. So there's going to be a part two. I'm going to try and have that out in a couple days. And I'm actually going to end up cutting and soldering those wires back together to shorten them. Uh, the passenger side tail light, the wire that comes from that part of the harness, there's probably two extra feet of wire in there. And also the pigtail that goes to the harness, so the four pin connector, that is extremely long too. That's way longer than I'm ever gonna need. So I'm gonna shorten those. I'm probably gonna come up with a new mounting location for that little box. Um, so stay tuned, there's gonna be a part two of me cleaning it all up and trying to go for more of a factory style look. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.